So, we can say that everything available in our environment, which can be used to satisfy our needs, is called a resource. Now, to be classified as a resource, it should be technologically accessible, economically feasible, and culturally acceptable. For example, we use water, food, etc. in its natural form. But a spoon is made of metal and books consist of papers. Metal can be found from the earth's crust in the form of minerals and paper, well, is made on trees. So we make them with the help of technology using natural resources. Therefore, in our day-to-day -day life, we depend heavily on resources, be it for infrastructural development or for food or nutrition, but we cannot forget the fact that the moment we introduce technology in any area, it would incur some cost. Now, when any resource can be used or extracted easily, the cost incurred will be less. So to keep the cost at bay, we need to have good technology and that we mean technologically accessible. And to make any resource economically feasible, we need to make sure that the resource could be allocated or distributed efficiently amongst population, otherwise demand and supply chain will be disrupted, resulting in an inflation in the rate and the instability of the market. For example, when there is low production of any food, the pricing goes up as a result. Moving on, culturally acceptable means that a resource has to resonate with the culture or community. In other words, a community should accept a resource uniformly looking at its benefits. Well, the last of the resources are the reserves. These are the subset of stock. They can be put to use with the existing technical know-how, but they haven't been utilized yet. These can be used for meeting future requirements. For example, river water can be used for generating hydroelectric power, but sadly, presently, it is being utilized only to a limited extent. So by now we know what all resources we have around us. But how do we develop them? Before we get to that, let us see what the present status of our resources is. As we know, resources are vital for human survival, as well as for maintaining a good quality of life. However, since resources are considered free gifts of nature, human beings have used them indiscriminately. And this irresponsible behavior has led to the following problems. For one, resources are getting depleted to satisfy the greed of a few individuals. Resources are divided unequally with the bulk of them in the hands of a few. This has made some people rich and the others certainly poor. Indiscriminate use of resources has led to ecological crises like global warming, ozone layer depletion, environment pollution, and land degradation. This has also created regional conflict. So now what? Well, an equitable distribution of resources has become essential for a sustained quality of life and global peace. If the present trend of resource depletion by a few individuals and countries continue, then the future of our planet is in danger. Therefore, resource planning is essential for sustainable existence of all forms of life. And sustainable existence is an important component of a sustainable development. Now the process of transformation of things available in our environment involves an interdependent relationship between nature, technology, and institutions. Resources can be classified on the basis of their origin, exhaustibility, 
ownership and status of development. And to conserve resources, as we all know, we must now turn to sustainable development. Tutimate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.